Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome everybody to Unfiltered, a random moment with Pastor David. And as you guys see, we have a new format. And on Tuesdays, we want to tease out a little bit about marriage and the family as you are going to start that here in a few weeks. And on Thursdays, what we do is typically talk a little bit more about marriage and the family. But today, Pastor, I wanted to uh, just get some thoughts on communion. Every third Wednesday, our church celebrates communion on Wednesday after the Bible study. And I wanted to ask you the importance as a church on taking communion. Oh, that's an interesting way to put it, the importance as a church in taking communion. You know, when uh, the various uh, Protestant and even non-Protestant um, expressions of our Christian faith, you have what are called sacraments. You know, I was raised in the Catholic Church, and so we had seven sacraments. Well, we celebrate two. The word sacrament is from the Latin sacramentum, and it literally speaks of taking an oath. And so the reason we celebrate two rather than six or seven or perhaps even eight is because these are the two ordinances of the church that were actually established by Jesus himself. Jesus is the one who brought into the church's existence the uh, sacrament of baptism and the sacrament of communion. Communion is actually a word that speaks of uh, the fellowship or the things that we have in common and share together. It is also, when in reference to the communion service, there are those who speak of the Eucharist. And I don't want to get into the uh, various layers that that word itself brings, but I will say that the word Eucharist is actually from a Greek word and, and it doesn't, it's not pronounced Eucharist, it's, it's a, a word that speaks of thanksgiving, it's uh, in, in Greek, you know, it's a thank you. When you're in Greece, that's what you say, they'll give you something and you say, well, the Eucharist is that which is of thanks, you're giving thanks and all, and so, the, the communion that we share is a, actually a thanksgiving celebration. Thanksgiving to the Lord for what he did in that he gave to us salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. And so when Jesus was establishing communion on that night that he was betrayed and the night prior to his trial and then ultimately his uh, crucifixion and his burial, his death and burial, um, Jesus established it and he, he said to his men that they were to, to take of this cup and take of the bread that was part of the Passover celebration, but they were to do that in remembrance of me. Every time that you take of it, you'll be doing that in remembrance of me. It'll be an act of thanksgiving for the things that I have done um, on your behalf in order that you might come to a, eternal life. It's a reminder. So. The bread obviously remains the bread. It doesn't become something else. And, and the, the juice remains obviously the juice. Jesus, though, in the bread, it's a symbol of the fact that he is the, the bread of life. And the juice is to remind us that he is the true vine. And so in Christ, we have the, the, the bread of life and he is the true vine and we abide in him, produce fruit. And uh, those are the things that are part of the symbolism of taking of what we used to call the Holy Supper. And so he said, do this in remembrance of me. Well, when you do something in remembrance of him, it is something that is much deeper than simply saying, yeah, I remember. It's, it's, it's actions in the past that he did. Every time you take of this, you think of what I've said. Actions in the past, uh, actions in the present and also he says you're looking forward to this in the future so there are three parts to the thanksgiving what he has done what he's doing what will happen yet in the future and so for us in the church it's a, a very important ordinance of the church because it's been referred to as one of the means of grace mm -hmm. it's one of the ways that the Lord is imparting a special sense of his presence a special sense of his grace so when you take of the, the, uh, the bread and the juice and you do so in a manner worthy of that, 
because some people just take it lightly. And when Paul spoke of this, he said, some of you are eating, drinking, you're even drunk at the, at the, uh, the, the, the meal that you have, uh, your common meal. This, these things ought not to be so. Don't you have homes that you can drink and eat in? I mean, if you're going to be doing ordinary things, do them in your ordinary home. But when you're gathering together over the ordinances of the church, when you're gathering together over the importance of this, this uh, remembering what Jesus did, you need to come in in a, in a manner that is worthy of what you're about to partake in. So we gather together and we have of the, the bread and we remember he's the bread of life. We take of the juice, remembering that he is the true vine. We do it in remembrance. One other thing, and I'll close with this, because tomorrow night when we have communion, prayerfully people will be prepared for it. But when you remember something, there are different variations of what that means. Sometimes somebody says, well, yeah, I remember when, or yeah, or, or you know, don't forget, you know, remember. But remembrance carries with it, in, especially in these kinds of activities, it carries with it a deeper meaning than simply recollecting certain bits of information. To remember something is to have more of an immersive experience with it. You're more fully in touch with it. There are times perhaps where you, you may hear a song on the radio and it reminds you of your mom, it reminds you of your dad, it reminds you of somebody that you, you grew up with or you loved and perhaps that they have, they have gone on into eternity. And you'll hear the song and as you hear the song, you remember it's not just a mental thing, it's an emotional thing. It's something that, that can, contains various elements. And if it's a spiritual song, it, it even contains a spiritual element to it, right? Well, that's, that's what you're doing when you take of the communion. You're doing this in remembrance of me. You're doing this fully participating, immersing in and re-experiencing those things that, that, that have brought you to where you're at right now, those things I did in the past, the things that I'm doing in your life right now, and, and the hope you have for the future, that you're especially immersed in that sense of reliving, reconnecting, and understanding. And so that's why you don't take it lightly. That's why when you take of the cup and you take of the, of the bread, that's why you do it with a uh, a, a sense of devotion, uh, a, a more proper attitude. You'd, it's not just picking up a piece of bread and drinking some juice. It's, it's saying, thank you, Lord Jesus, because I remember where I was. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because look where I am. And thank you, Lord Jesus, because where I'm one day gonna be. Yeah. And so do this in remembrance of me. Remember who I am. Uh, it's one of the ways that God is simply saying, please don't forget. Don't forget me. Yeah, that thief on the cross, when he was looking at Jesus just before he, Jesus, our Savior, died, what was it that he said to him? He said, Lord, remember me. Remember me. And Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. Well, Jesus said to us once, remember me. And we do that in communion. Amen. Pastor, thank you so much for sharing on as we're taking communion tomorrow evening and, and church family, it's a great opportunity for us to gather together, not only to hear the Bible study uh, in Ephesians, but to also partake of communion uh, as a church family as we just heard uh, the importance and uh, the, the intimacy that we have communion with Amen. the Lord. Amen. And so I wanna invite you guys to come out and join us Wednesday evening tomorrow at 7 p.m. We have a time of worship, Bible study, and then afterwards we'll have communion. So we look forward to join, uh, for you to join us. And, and Pastor, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of uh, insight on communion and you know, in remembrance of me, in remembrance of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen, and one, more, one last thing, guys and ladies. We're going to Israel, God oh, willing, yes. in March. If you want some information, contact us at calvaryccv.org. Yes, and we look forward to having you join us. God bless you guys. Pastor David, thank you so much. Of course. We'll see you guys.